Breaking news now, guilty verdict in the DIA sex assault case. This video taken just minutes before the attack last spring. 7 News reporter Don Champion is just stepping out of Denver District Court downtown. Don, this decision came after a day and a half of deliberations. That's right, Bertha. It's clear that the jury took uh, long enough to really consider this case. They heard about two and a half days of testimony and all in this case. Uh, the defense all along had claimed that this was consensual but rough sex. Uh, it appears at the end uh, that the jury just was not buying that excuse. I did look at Noel Bertrand, who's a former Marine. As that verdict was being read, he gave no emotion, but his mother was in court and she started crying as the verdict was read. She also called out his name as he was being led out of the courtroom by Sheriff deputies. The victim in this case, we are told she was not here. She's back at home uh, where she lives, but she was not in the courtroom. But she did offer some powerful testimony during this trial. And Noel Bertrand also took the stand during this trial. I did speak to prosecutors after the verdict was read, and they said they were surprised by Bertrand's uh, testimony during the trial, flat out saying that he lied on several occasions uh, during the trial, including talking about a note that he said that the victim allegedly passed him before uh, the act took place at DIA. Uh, and they said that he had never mentioned that before, even to detectives the day he was arrested. Uh, they did call uh, and, and say that the testimony of two Frontier Airlines mechanics were very valuable in this case. You may recall that those two mechanics did break up uh, this rape back Back in DIA in, in April of 2011, the prosecutor in this case calling their toast testimony very important in this case. I should mention sentencing is set for November 30th here at 8.30 in the morning. Bull, Noel Bertrand faces up to life in prison, and prosecutors tell me they will be seeking the maximum penalty, especially because they say this was a violent rape. The victim did suffer several uh, major injuries as a result of this case. We're now we're live downtown. Don Champion, 7 News. All right, Don, thanks so much.